guys learning with rich here in this video let's continue our discussion about um, slabs stairs and ramps so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to create uh, sloping slabs okay so last video we have learned how to create uh, ramps which is uh, this one so this time around, what we are going to do is, uh, we are going to cover our elevator shaft here. So we will be using here, let's say, uh, sloping slab. So that is the roof that we will be using to close this one out. All right, so, so to start with, so we will be selecting here our penthouse level. Okay, so if I go to the elevation view let's say on the south elevation view as you can see here so we created the, a level here for our plant house right so that's the use of that level so that is the level that we are going to use to create our uh, sloping slab to cover our uh, uh, elevator shaft okay so this will serve as the roof okay so to start with i'm going to select the structure tab and then I'll just use a structural floor or you can also type SB okay so I just click that one and then after that I'll just check the properties here okay so I'm not going to put an offset level here so instead of six inches I'm just going to make it uh, zero and then so for this one for the offset what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put an offset distance of uh, let's say six inches okay so six inches and then using thick walls I'm gonna hover my pointer to the side of the elevator shaft and then once you see it highlights press the tab once oops sorry so you just need to pan our drawing here first so that our drawing area is the active active drawing okay so just hover your pointer do not pick and then you press tab and then you will notice it will highlight all the sides so once you see it highlights just click that to create the boundary of our floor okay and then I'm just going to select here modify now the next thing that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create the slope so let's say the slope we're gonna start from here going here okay so that's the use of this slope arrow here okay so I'm going to select slope arrow and then after that so let's say I'm gonna pick here that midpoint and then I'm going to pick also to this midpoint here so I'm gonna pick that and then modify now I'm going to select that slope and then check out the properties here of that slope so it says here is specify so instead of height at tail wherein you can specify the offset at tail and then you can specify the offset at head so this is the tail this is the head so instead of using height at tail I'm going to click the drop down arrow here and then select slope okay so just click the slope and then let's specify the slope here okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this let's say 20 degrees okay and then after that I'm going to apply it right so I click this one there you go okay now the next thing that I'm gonna do just finish it okay so I'll just select finish edit mode so just click that and there you go okay so there is our floor so the reason why it only shows this portion it's because of the the view range okay which you can uh, change from the properties you can just play around the view range here okay but we are not going to do that so I'm just going to delete this one you see this uh, the span direction symbol I'm just going to delete that I don't need that so I'm just going to delete that and then I'll check the 3d view here going back to the 3d view and there you go okay so there's now your sloping slab okay now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hover my pointer to my shaft opening and I'm not going to select that opening that opening so I need to select all the walls not the opening so I'm going to press tab so as you can see it highlights the wall I'm going to press the tab again okay now it highlights all the wall so I'm going to select that and then after that from the modify walls there's an option here 
attach top base. It attaches selected walls to selected or to model elements such as roofs and floors. So I'm going to select this one and then this is where I'm going to attach that. So I'm going to click this and there you go. Okay, and then modify to deselect the object and there you go. Okay, so basically that's how you um, attach your wall to your roof there. And then that's how you create your uh, sloping slab. Okay, so there you have it. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below. And I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Right? So once again, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.